celebrating the man whose research saved countless lives and changed the entire nation. Dr. Jonas Salk created the polio vaccine in the 1950s and understood the importance of having low cost or no cost vaccines. His legacy continues today at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla. And that's where we find Mike Wanker, Kimberly Hunt tonight. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Wale. Yes, I am here at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies on the eve of what would have been the 109th birthday of the man who envisioned and helped design this architectural landmark in La Jolla. The world-renowned researcher and scientist who called it home, Dr. Jonas Salk. And Dr. Salk was hailed a miracle worker in 1955 for developing the first safe and effective vaccine for polio. The Salk Institute is a place for a collaboration of scientists from around the world to delve into a broad range of research areas from aging, cancer and immunology to diabetes, brain science and plant biology. And Salk research provides new understanding and potential treatments for a range of diseases from AIDS and Alzheimer's to cancer and cardiovascular disorders. I spent the afternoon here with the son of Dr. Jonas Salk, himself a doctor of psychiatry, Dr. Jonathan Salk. And here's part of what he shared with me. He loved this institution. He was proud of it. The science was just incredible. But he did have this vision of that creativity involves science, it involves the arts, it involves philosophy, it involves poetry. So he always had this vision of this would be a place where those, all those disciplines could come together. The Salk Institute for Biological Studies is often referred to as Dr. Jonas Salk's second triumph. After changing the world with his polio vaccine in 1955, he dreamed of a research center that would unlock the secrets of life itself. He began to work with the architect, Louis Kahn, on a center to attract world-class scientists who would push the boundaries of knowledge in all areas of science. He was really, really proud of this building. Mm. And so that's what I remember you know, really fondly. He, even, even in his later years, he would, he would kind of walk by and he would touch the smooth walls, just not out thinking about it, but it was kind of like this like a little caress, you know, like you give to a little kid, you just put your hand on its head. That's the relationship he had with the building and with the institution. Jonathan says that warmth also went to his family. The big thing that made him a great dad was his warmth. Um, he was just physically a warm, affectionate human being. Who believed in himself and his work. Yeah, it was a combination of being fearless and really trusting his own intuition, his own instincts, and his own reason. Jonathan tells me his dad was driven by wanting to make people healthier and to heal. Something drove him his entire life. And really what drove him subjectively was honestly trying to make the world a better place. When he was a little boy, he used to pray that God would let him do something that would help humanity. And I guess somebody said yes. And the words of Jonas Salk forever fill this open courtyard that looks over the sea of what is possible. Hope lies in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage to those who dare to make dreams into reality. Dr. Jonas Salk indeed changed humanity. Two years after his vaccine was introduced, polio cases in the United States fell by nearly 90%. And tonight, I will take you inside Salk's original lab to highlight the work that's being done today. It's all coming up at six, but first, in 30 minutes, Jonathan Salk will share the updates that he has made to the book that he wrote with his father. Wale, back to you. Truly proof that one man indeed can make a difference. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Well